good morning and welcome back to another video. This one is a morning routine with Mason and I, who usually finds himself in our bed between half four and five, soon after daddy has gone to work. Other days I do take him straight downstairs, but on this particular day, I needed a little bit more strength to go downstairs. Eventually when I do, we always open the blinds first, let in some of that summer sunshine, and then take a seat and cuddle while we watch some cartoons. Usually it's something on YouTube such as Baby Bus, but at the moment the favourite is Peppa Pig. I then give Mason his morning bottle of milk. He only has one more at the end of the day right before bed. He's been really good and cut down on all of the rest during the day. I then decide to tidy up the house a little bit, give the living room a bit of a spruce up. I always feel better in my mental health and surroundings if everything is organised and clean and tidy. I also think it's fair for Mason to live in an organised, clean, tidy, safe home. I make my way into the kitchen where I always put away things that have been created that morning such as cereal bowls from daddy, coffee mugs, anything that was in the bin from last night gets thrown away. I unload the dishwasher and then start refilling it with the stuff from that day. I don't always give it a full spring clean, it's not necessary. I'm quite good at cleaning the night before so that I wake up to a nice and tidy home. Things such as cleaning the oven isn't a daily thing for me, but on this particular day I think it did need quite a shine from something we cooked the night before. And once that's all done, I dedicate a lot of my time to Mason. We spend the next few hours with the TV off, just enjoying each other's company. We read books, we play with his toys, and we just mess around until he loses some energy before his next nap. This time is so precious because it's when I feel he's most calm. I love to just watch him all day long. Once we've burnt some energy playing, we then have breakfast. It's nothing special such as avocado on toast for Mason, it's just a bit of cereal, some yogurt and some fruit. I don't know what the stank look was in this video but he really didn't like me rubbing his cheek. Once we eat we go upstairs, play around some more, explore the house a little bit more. Here he really enjoyed his own reflection. I don't think he could understand that it was a reflection and there wasn't another baby in front of him, hence why he's looking behind the mirror. He then likes to play a little bit in my shower, which yes, does need a little bit of a clean. Then we play some hide and seek. And I'm really lucky he doesn't tear down the curtain with the way he holds onto them sometimes. Finally, I start to notice that he's getting a little bit more tired, he's being a little bit more calm, not as playful, not as laughy, and then I put him down for his nap in his own room. He has such an angel face when he sleeps, I could watch him all day. When Mason is finally having a nap, I use that time for myself, I apply my makeup, I get dressed, I choose the clothes that I'm going to wear that day, I prepare for work, I sort out our bags, all that I can do without having him pull out my clothes. He suddenly becomes needy every time I'm trying to do something without him, so I use this time to get all of that sort of stuff done. then make myself a brunch. Usually I eat before traditional lunchtime as that is when I start work and I don't always get the opportunity to sit down and actually eat lunch so I'll eat it between 11 and 12 right before Mason wakes up. 
and then tidy up any mess that he's made during our play session. And I snack a little bit and do something for myself, such as editing a video, snacking, watching something on TV that I need to catch up on, read a book, all while he is still having a nap. Then I hear him wake up, I'll go upstairs and get him, give him the cuddles, select what he's going to wear. At the moment where the weather is so hot, even t-shirts and shorts don't feel cool enough, but that's what he's selected on this day. I'll give him a snack when he wakes up and at the moment he is loving apples. I'll peel that and give that to him. I find that he chokes more when there's still skin on it. When Mason's dressed, I'll go and select my own outfit if I haven't done so already and quickly throw that on while he's just chilling out watching a little bit more TV. By this point, it's time to leave the nursery so I prepare our shoes. He has these gorgeous little crocodile crocs that I'm loving at the moment. He wore them on holiday and I'll switch everything up. I'll collect our bags and then I'll get us in the car ready to go to nursery for 12. And that's it. That's our morning routine. I really hope you enjoyed that and I'll see you in the next one.